Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hello, my beautiful soul family. It's wonderful to be here with you. It's Cornelia Stephanie, and today we are here talking about self-realization, self-actualization, authentic, sovereign expression, part four. This is a topic that's very, very near and dear to me because I champion humanity's sovereignty the authority over one's own life as empowered creation. And I would love it if you would call me up and talk to me about this and give me any of your questions that you may have in response to this. But we're going to go a little bit deeper into what this means today because I know there's a lot of people right now that are struggling, that are really, really struggling. They're struggling with so many things. They're struggling with being able to put food on the table. They're struggling with their emotions. They're struggling with their awakening. They're struggling with loss, facing loss. They're struggling with just the basic adjustments of what is going on and how do we move on. And so there's a lot of things that people are, you know, fearful over right now. And I want to help people as much as I can with the information that I'm sharing, but then also some of the practical tools that, that I use and that I've used with my clients over the years in helping people process their emotions. I have so many tools on my website that are free processing of emotions. I mean, I've been helping people process their emotions since 2010, since the time when I first started emotional processing. And what exactly is emotional processing? What exactly is that? It's like processing in the moment when you're triggered emotionally, you know, what's happening in your physical body. And you're processing, you're investigating what is going on what your feelings are. So basically, if you're triggered by anything in the outside world or by uh, a relationship or by a loss or whatever it may be that brings on the trigger, the emotional trigger, the processing of emotions is there's always something from our past that is being triggered and activated so that we can release it that we can let go, and that we can bring our love to it and our understanding. And a lot of times, you know, processing of emotions is really messy because we have to sit with our feelings. We have to sit with our shadow. We have to sit with our loneliness. We have to sit with our grief. And so it's not a fun process, but it is a liberation. It is a liberation. So part of our sovereignty and part of our empowerment and part of our autonomy and part of our authentic sovereign expression is being able to investigate our emotions, investigate our, our, our limiting beliefs, investigate what it is, where it is that we give our power away to anything outside of us that triggers us. Because really, that is the key, is that, let's see, other thing, over the years, what I help people with and what I've been helping people with is so that they can really tap into their own inner authority. And, and the reason why I've been doing that is because that's what I've done for myself. How does one become their own inner authority in the different categories in your life? 
And for me, you know, I started with my spiritual foundation and that was a really deep, deep soul process is discovering what my spiritual authority was and tracking it all the way back to source energy, bringing that consciousness in all the way you know, from source, because that is the place that I took it to. I took it directly to source. And so wherever your understanding is, whatever your belief is is in God, doesn't matter what your faith is. It doesn't matter what you, um, you know, what you believe in, as long as you stand strong in that and, and bring it to your spiritual source. So whatever that faith may be. So over the years, this is one of the things is being able to tap into your own inner authority and know how to work with your emotions, to know how to look at what it is that's causing you grief, that's what it is that's causing you pain, and to be able to raise your daily vibe right? That's really what it is. Because if we are giving our power away, then we are victims. And, and that's what I want to help us with today is that how can we, how can you create and sustain a good life for yourself now? Who you are today, who you are now, what is important to you now in your life, right? And how can you live being in your truth, being in your authentic truth, standing in your power, standing in your zone, and rewrite the story of your life? Because every day we are rewriting the story of our life with where it is that we put our attention to, where it is that we put our energy in, what it is that we put our energy in, right? Because um, where I'm, I'm sure that you've heard wherever, whatever we energize grows. So we want to be able to make sure that we raise our vibration, that we raise our frequency, we release and let go of what's no longer serving us. Because in truth is there are no victims. There are no victims unless we act like victims. But if we claim our power every single time, that we get triggered by anything that's happening in our reality. Every time that we claim our power, then we are claiming a deeper part of ourselves into wholeness, into our truth. It's not an easy thing to do, but nothing is easy that is um, worth living, right? And I mean, I can't imagine. I remember back in the day when I was just beginning to wake up in my awakening journey, remembering who I am. And I, you know, that process was very, very deep and at times very alone. And that's why I want to tell you today that you are not alone, that you're absolutely not alone. There are so many people around the world right now that are really, really doing great things, planting good seeds and supporting each other and helping each other and um, just being there for each other. I see that so much. And that's why I thought today would be a great time for us to, why don't we start out with sharing what it is that we're grateful for? You know, that's always the number one thing of what we can do to raise our vibration is when we are in gratitude. So why don't you call into the show today and share with me three things that you're grateful for? Three things. So you can call in at 1-800-930-2819 and share three things that's, that's going well in your life. Three things right now in your reality. So I've been doing this with my group. Like yesterday, I was leading my spiritual meetup group and I had the ladies share what it is that they're grateful for. And then also in my online community. And it's amazing what happens when one person shares what it is that they're grateful for. Then another person shares what they're grateful for. And then it's that vortex that's building in this field of gratitude. And then we can swim in that gratitude and feel really grateful for what it is that we have in our lives right now. 
So one of the things that uh, the, one of the ladies was sharing just this morning, she was talking about she's so grateful that she is sitting this morning holding her grandbaby, holding her grandbaby. And uh, I think the baby is less than a month old. She's able to sit and hold her grandbaby and completely feel at peace and at one with being able to do that. And that's one of the things that she's grateful for. Another person shared that she's so grateful that she's able to walk out of her house and there is a river that's close by her house and she's able to sit and be at the river and just be out in nature and really enjoy that part. Another person shared that they just learned the art of journaling and you know, journaling is one of my absolute healing modalities. I am a big, big fan of journaling. I'm always journaling every single day. It's it's a way for me to put a stream of consciousness writing in. It's a way for me to talk to source. It's a way for me to talk about my feelings and what it is that I'm feeling right now. And what is it, you know, putting pen to paper. I use my journals for strategy sessions, for empowerment sessions, for gratitude sessions. And so, you know, even if you were to sit every day just for a few minutes, listing your gratitudes, I have the perfect tool for everybody. I have a 21-day challenge. And in my 21-day challenge, every single day, there is an audio recording where you can listen um, and be guided into planting your seeds of gratitude, five things every day. And um, you're talking about what is it that you're uh, wanting to create? What's important to you? What are some of the core values? What was the energy that you were releasing and letting go of? And you can experience all that in my 21 day challenge. Now, For the entire audience that's listening today and that wants to be a part of it, and for those of you that cannot afford it, I'm going to give it free of charge to any of the people that want to rewrite the story of their life and that want to be able to be guided so that they can be guided within and begin right away with the journaling, with listening, and being guided in planting seeds that will yield harvest in the future that is more in alignment with the truth of who you are. So you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com and I'm going to send you a sign-on information and a link so that you can have the course for free. Now, for those of you that um, uh, are able to afford it, it's $21. It's a dollar a day. And every person that takes the 21 day challenge, seeding their peace and gratitude garden, are absolutely in love with it. They love it so much because it guides them in. It guides them into their own inner intuition and their own inner process and helps you calm your body right away from, from the time that you begin in the mornings. And that was why I created it is to begin your day in a space of gratitude and planting the seeds that you want to seed and rewriting the story of your life. Very, very important. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for listening. You can call me at 1-800-930-2819 and share your gratitude with me. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. See you in a few minutes. What would you do with the power of community? How do you create your own rituals? Tune in to Living Your Gifts with me, Susan Huff, Ancient Applications for Modern Times, the second Wednesday of each month on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Our lives begin with the stories we are told and the stories we tell ourselves. Storytelling is the key. To learn more about me, visit LivingYourGifts.com. That's LivingYourGifts.com. 
Are you meeting your sales goals? Or maybe your business plan could use a dose of the divine. Tune in to Divinely Driven Results with faith-based business coach Elise Smith on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Coach Elise Smith helps listeners get unstuck from their business plateau and become empowered through divine guidance. Build up belief in yourself and your dreams and learn business strategies that work for you for real lasting results. Learn more by visiting www.DivinelyDrivenResults.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L, on the Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at TracyLClark.com. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. We remember a time when you could simply form a thought and it would manifest. The harmony was forgotten, but it is returning now. The Power of Inspiration and Awakening Radio with Juliet Griffin on TransformationTalkRadio.com each second and fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific will take you on adventures through the heart and spirit exploring who we once were. This intuitive healer studied under the guidance of wolves, learning from their wisdom to master a higher frequency for a new state of mind. Visit OneTrueSelf.com. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here with you. Thank you, Karen, for writing in and sharing with me that you would like to know more about how to access the 21-day challenge. The way that you can receive the free gift is you can go to, no, you can email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com, and then I will be happy to send you the some login information because you would have to log in in order to to receive access in my membership for that 21 day challenge because you know what happens when we tune in for 21 days and build a positive vibration build a positive vortex it it expands and it grows and right now more than ever all of us must stay positive but I do want to say there's value in getting pissed off. There's value in getting angry. There's value in processing the emotions. There's value in in, um, diving deep into grief. There's value in all that. You know, yesterday at one of, at the um, meeting with the ladies, one of the ladies there, she, she said to me, she says, you know, I get so angry by all the things that are going on out there. Like, for instance, you know, her father is in a nursing home and um, they thought he was going to make it. And it, now it, it doesn't look like he is. And he's overseas and she's not able to be with him. So there's a lot of loss that's having to be faced. Right. There's a lot of injustice that's going on. And so I want to make sure that and this is what I reminded her. I said, you know, this This is really um, unfortunate, but it's also giving you the opportunity to get really, really pissed off and really let that anger out. Let that anger out of your body, right? Um, The key to accessing anger and processing anger, which is an emotion, is that you that you really get it out of your body because anytime, you know, like right now, if I was in her position, I would be feeling like, um, 
you know, like uh, restricted from being able to see my dad. And there's so many things like I would be angry that of the injustice of what's going on. And um, so many emotions would be coming up. And that is all stuff from her past in her body that has been held and suppressed. And now through this situation, it is offering her the opportunity to really clear and release those feelings, right? And it's it's not to say that it's fair and it's not to say that it's just because it is. But it's part of our it's part of our clearing. It's part of our you know um, liberation to be able to release those feelings that are underneath there that possibly make us feel powerless. Because I found underneath when we get angry, underneath that anger, there's always a truth that's waiting to be claimed. And there is a powerlessness that we feel like, you know, we feel powerless to be able to do something. We feel powerless to be able to change the things that are happening on the outside world. This is what we feel. But through the trigger, the emotional trigger, we're then able to, again, through the journaling, what is this about for me? What am I releasing? What am I letting go of? And then really getting in contact with that anger and and the rage. And it is okay to um, access that. The thing is what's not okay is to use it as a weapon emotionally to bully anyone else or to project that anger onto another person or even yourself. And that's why I always remind people to get the anger out of your body because it's harmful in your body. You know, when you're in when you're in a frustration state, when you're in an angry state, you're not you're not able to really receive the um the healing in your body because you're holding on so tight to dear for dear life. Uh Zach, did you say that we have a caller, somebody that wants to share their gratitudes with me? Yes, we do. We have uh Bob Eden on the line. Oh, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hey, hello. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Oh, life is awesome. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not hearing you that well, Bob. Are you in... uh, Can you... Can you talk a little louder? Is that better? Okay, yeah. So you called into the show because you're going to share three gratitudes with me. That's it. Okay. Bob? Yeah? Are you... Are you sh- are you able to, are you talking? Because I'm not hearing anything. There's about a one and a half second delay. Oh, there's a delay. There's a delay. Mm-hmm. So do you want me to share three things I'm grateful for? Yes, I do, please. You might be sharing, no, but I'm sure. not, we're not hearing anything. Okay, I will share three things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for every breath. I'm grateful for the unconditional love of my two dogs. And I'm really grateful for the increased level of silence in my world currently. Beautiful, Bob. The sounds of man are blessing. Yes. So I'm enjoying the peace and tranquility and really grateful for it. Wonderful. And I appreciate you calling in and uh, sharing your gratitude because I know that you are overseas and that you took the time to call in and share your gratitude, because again, it raises our collective vibration. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. And I'm grateful that the work that you're doing on yourself so that um, other people can benefit from it as well. So I'm grateful for that, Bob. Thank you for calling in. Thanks, darling. Okay. Be well. 
So one of the things I was thinking about this, one of the things that I'm grateful for is having the ability, right? Because it is an ability to raise our consciousness, to raise my consciousness up into a higher vibrational way of living and being and knowing how to process and bring myself into a state of surrender when things outside of myself seem, you know, out of my control and that I know how to do that. That is such a huge gift. That is such a huge gift. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to do that. And that's why I want to offer you all, anyone that wants to learn how to, you know, go deeper within their emotional processing, releasing, raising their frequency, raising their vibration with gratitude and planting those seeds. Because ladies and gentlemen, right now is a very, very fertile time. You know, all this distancing that we've been asked to do has given us really the opportunity to look at what do we really value? What's really, really important to us? You know, what's important? And I know like in my beginning of the journey, when I didn't even know at first what core values were important to me, I didn't know. And now today, my boundaries are really, really clear. And, you know, the core values that I stand for, number one is humanity sovereignty, the authority over one's own life as empowered creation. That's one. And another one is love, honor, and respect. You know, I demand this in my life. And when I say demand, that doesn't mean that I'm going, I demand you give me this. No, it is a way of life. I command and I demand love, honor, and respect in my surroundings. So in my relationships, in the way that I interact with people, whether it's personal relationships, business relationships, in the way that I respond to the world, is in kind. And so that's really taking responsibility for the energy, for your energy. It takes a lot of consciousness. But to be able to have the consciousness, which we all can, every single one of us, has the ability to raise their consciousness and to, you know, release and let go what's no longer serving us so that we can move into a higher vibrational way of living and being, living in harmony with the earth, living in harmony with the earth. So, you know, I've talked about this many times before, but I think this is a good time to mention it again. And that is, if, you know, if you look at it for the last 46,000 years that we've been living on this planet, incarnating, incarnating, incarnating. We have been living everything that we're not. We've been, you know, living and acting um, not, not good enough, not feeling worthy, feeling separate from our source. We've been, you know, living these um, programmed conditions out for the last 46,000 years. And now at this most amazing time of awakening, we are beginning to, to live a brand new cycle, to live and experience everything that we are. This is so huge, to live and experience everything that we are. And the beautiful thing, just like Bob said, he is enjoying the gratitude. He has, has the gratitude for the unconditional love that he's experiencing with his dogs. An unconditional love on this planet, love without condition, this is what we're yearning for. We are yearning for that. And again, it begins with each and every one of us that's making the difference, that's making the change. That's why I'm offering you the 21-day challenge. For those of you that have the finances and the resources, um, it's $21. It's a dollar a day. You can go to CorneliaStephanie.com and look on the top. It says 21 day challenge because it's a challenge to be responsible for your energy every day and not project the negativity out, but to really process the feelings, 
to raise your vibration and be grateful for the things that are in your reality right now. I know these times are not easy. It's, it's not easy at all. But I know that we've got this. We have got this because we are so amazing and resilient. Human beings are so adaptable. And I know that what we have lived through on this planet, uh, we can overcome anything. Even when I look at my own life and I see how far I've come and where I am today in my consciousness, in my being, in my sovereignty, that if I can overcome the things that I've overcome, the fact that I overcame suicide many times and didn't actually achieve that, that I'm here, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm here and I'm grateful that I'm alive. And so let us even look at the future gratitudes. And I want to talk about a little bit more about that when we come back from our break. We'll be right back. Are you ready to accelerate your wealth and success? Join Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich with Cornelia Stephanie on the Millionaire Imprint for Women on Transformation Talk Radio every third Friday, 1 p.m. PST. Step out of lack and into your power of creation. Build and grow your wealth. Create prosperous businesses that make a difference. Visit ahanalara.com forward slash RBR show. This is Debbie Pokornik with a break-free parenting tip. Parenting will always be a bit of a mystery. Who knows why some parenting ideas work and others do not? Or why some kids seem to succeed despite family setbacks, while others have so much given to them and yet fail to thrive? The one thing we do know is that once you have a child, you'll never be quite the same again. Awe-inspiring emotions like overwhelming love, extreme guilt, intense frustration, and incredible joy make this job second to none. Breaking free of parenting pressures means recognizing the pieces that make us unique, the pieces that we carry with us from the past, and the pieces that are influenced by the society we live in. When we can pick and choose which pieces we want to keep around and change the others to align with our inner wisdom, We will feel more self-assured in our role as a parent. For information and to work with Debbie, visit EmpoweringNRG.com. Do you know how powerful your thoughts and beliefs are in determining your experience of your life? Is it really true that simply by changing some of the words you use in your day-to-day language, that you can change your life? I'm Megan Edge. Join me on Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease with my co-host, Dr. Pat on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. To find out more about Megan Edge, visit her website at meganedge.ca. Yeah, yippee skippy to that, baby. We're not done yet. Some of us are out here to educate and inspire. This year, 2020, is the year We got it. Show me the money in the cash flow. I'm Dr. Pat. This is the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. Visit thedrpatshow.com. Hello, everyone. We are back with Cornelia Stephanie here today. It's wonderful to be here with you. We're talking about our sovereignty and how to stay in our in our power and how to stand in our truth and how to raise our vibration. And just during the break, I was talking with Zach. Zach's the producer at Transformation Talk Radio. And I was asking Zach, what is his gratitude? Do you mind sharing those, Zach? Not at all. Uh, awesome. I was saying I got a couple of roommates that I'm good friends with, so the uh, self-isolation isn't too lonely. 
that's definitely a source of gratitude. I still have this job. Uh, so tremendously grateful for that. Um, as well as all of my family out in Colorado and Washington, D.C. They're, uh, they're all hanging in there, staying healthy and uh, gainfully employed. Uh, yeah, and it it sounds like everything that you're that you're experiencing, you know, your family, your job, your life, everything really is fine and whole, and everybody's doing well. So many blessings to you, and let that continue, right? I certainly hope so. Oh, it will. Uh, it, there's that absolutely will. Thank you for sharing your gratitudes. Thank you for raising the vibration, uh, Zach. Yeah, of course. And um, you did say that we have a caller on. We do. We have uh, Karen from Toronto. Are you there, Karen? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, Karen. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for calling in to share your gratitude. Oh, my God. So much to be here. Thank you for having me on here. <laughs> well, there's an echo on my phone here, so... Um, I will do my best, and hopefully you don't hear the same echo I do. <laughs> um, what am I do you have your computer so open and your phone at the same time? or? Well, maybe I'll stop my computer. I do, actually. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, that's okay. yeah, let's see if that's better. Eh, a little bit. Anyway, um, what I'm grateful for so much, but um, my three things today are... Uh, well, one of the biggest things for me, actually, that I'm grateful for is this whole, <laughs> the COVID experience, <laughs> because it's really like the the being, I guess, locked down. I don't want to use those words, but I'm going to. Um, it's really helped me get connected to uh, myself, uh, my body and spirit. It's definitely been a little challenging. I've had to, you know, shut down my business and stuff, but it's opened up a whole new, like a whole bunch of new opportunities, um, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's one thing I'm, I'm grateful for is just getting connected with myself again. And um, my friends and family, for sure, um, you know, just being able to still see them through Zoom, uh, that's, I've been grateful for that as well. Um, and being able to connect with everybody through that. And uh, food. <laughs> I love food. And this is actually getting me to uh, cook again. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I was eating out before. So um, this is actually helping me save money and cook and enjoy my own food and actually lose weight during all this, <laughs> which has been great. So, Yeah, what a fantastic, what a fantastic story. Uh, that you're living and that you're feeling the gratitude of how you're perceiving this reality it's, is you're seeing it as, yeah, this whole thing has given you a gift. It's given you the opportunity to really connect with yourself, which really, truly, when you think about, you know, it's that that inner connection that that really asked you like what's important to you now what matters to you how do you want to live your life how do you want to go forward from here what's important to you you started cooking again and connecting with your friends what a wonderful way to uh experience and perceive that out right and 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 let that emulate you know yeah exactly exactly we can live in fear or we can live in in now and and um, take this opportunity, right? So, yeah. And so I'm curious, so did you um, did you have a process that brought you to this? Or did you, did you also have days of feeling like, oh, my gosh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do? Or did you also have those kinds of Oh, totally. I mean, at the beginning, when I had to shut down my business, it was my, my holy crap moment. <laughs> um, and a lot of fear set in of, you know, what I'm going to do now with this, but it's also given me the push I needed for my other businesses, my online business. Um, it's, it's um, you know, it's helped me when an, uh, an emotion comes up, it's yep. helped me go deeper within that, right? And go, okay, what is showing up and what, what do I need to learn? And, um, and accept it and acknowledge the emotion. 
So, I mean, I've yep. done a lot of healing before all this. So this has helped me get through this as well. But I've definitely I've had my anger, my sadness, my frustration, my, I don't know, everything I think has showed up. <laughs> but I just go deeper in and find out where it's really coming from. That's really key. Thank you so much, Karen, for calling in and sharing your gratitude. And be sure to email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com to take part in the 21-day challenge. It's an honor and a pleasure. And have a wonderful afternoon. And thank you for having me on. And this is a great show. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Take good care. Thanks. You too. All right. Anyone else out there, 1-800-930-2819, give us a call and share with us your gratitude. We're raising the vibration. I want to create this amazing vortex where we can really feel the, the and tap into that energy that really is there when we uh, perceive uh, the vibration where we really feel in harmony. Because when we feel grateful, This is a harmonious feeling for our physical bodies. And that's really the place where miracles can happen. That's the place where we're able to manifest from. That's the place where we want to live from in that space, the feeling of gratitude. So feel free to call us 1-800-930-2819. Or even if you're listening to this later, share with us on the YouTube video, your three gratitudes. Share with us on Transformation Talk Radio Facebook page. The gratitude's there. You can also do it there. So wherever you are, whatever is going on, uh, share with us. Because I know that so many people are experiencing, there's a lot of things, right? We're all experiencing loss of some sort. But like Karen said, that it's offering us the gift to really take a look and see what is that emotion? What is coming up for me? And what is it that that's inviting for deeper intimacy, deeper connection, deeper exploration, right? So one of the ladies in my group last night, she was talking about that a lot of times she feels so powerless that she feels like, um, you know, she feels powerless that she doesn't feel like she's able to do anything about whatever is going on. And she was, you know, asking for, um, you know, what, what do you do when you're really feeling powerless? And when we feel powerless, we are, we are totally in our victim state, right? We are in our victim state. We have temporarily forgotten that we are in that victim state and that um, we can claim our power at any point in time that we choose to. And so I have a mantra for us that I like to use at any time when I'm in my victim state and when I've transcended the victim consciousness from the victim consciousness to the empowered creation. Remember, champion humanity, sovereignty, the authority over one's own life as empowered creation. And so when you're in your victim state and then moving into the empowered creation, into the empowered creator state, there is a mantra that I have that I'm going to share with you when we come back from our last break. We'll be right back. It's time to shake out your money-making truth on soul wisdom abundance with Jennifer Bloom, creating wealth from spiritual health on transformationtalkradio.com. This hit show is more than your roadmap to success. It's your compass to abundance through joy and ease. Jennifer Bloom teaches you about the soul's relationship to money and wealth and how improving that relationship serves both you and the world. Learn more at jenniferbloom.com. Knowledge Book Radio with Marge Potasik has a special gift for everyone out there. To receive three chapters of the Knowledge Book as a special gift, Send your email to mmjp99 at gmail.com. That's Emma in Mary, Emma in Mary, JP99 at gmail.com now to receive this fabulous, fabulous gift of the knowledge book. 
Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. It's time to shake out your money-making truth on Soul Wisdom Abundance with Jennifer Bloom, creating wealth from spiritual health on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show is more than your roadmap to success. It's your compass to abundance through joy and ease. Jennifer Bloom teaches you about the soul's relationship to money and wealth and how improving that relationship serves both you and the world. Learn more at JenniferBloom.com. Wonderful. We're back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and for being part of our live studio audience. I'm so grateful for you. Every all, all the audience members, everyone that tunes in and takes your time to be part of the Cornelia Stephanie Show, I want to also offer my gratitude. So grateful to Transformation Talk Radio for the people that support us, speakers, coaches, healers, small business owners so that we can come here and do what it is that we do and bring our information out because all this information, everything that we're doing here is always in service to the whole. That is a beautiful thing. And so I'm, I'm just so grateful. It's, it's a, again, it's creating a win-win for everyone and um, transformation talk radio, Zach, Jessica, Dr. Pat, Linda, all the people from TTR, that um, that created the network so that we can continuously have a professional platform where we can show up and share our gifts. It's it's really awesome. I'm grateful for that. And I was just talking to Zach in the break, and we were talking about the weather. We've had really really good weather here in Seattle. It's been really great, and so grateful for that as well. Now, let me give you one of my empowerment mantras that you can use at any time when you are finding yourself. Remember in the uh, opening of the show today, I said there are no victims. And the reason why there are no victims from my standpoint, when I look at you and I see you, I don't see any victims. I only see human beings that are, that are claiming their power, that are either in their power, that are acting on their power or that are reaching for it. Right. And so there are no victims because we're not. So one of the the mantras that I use is I claim back all of my power. All that I lost. All that I gave away. In any time, space or dimension. In the past, in the future, I claim it all back to me now. As it was, as it is, and as it shall be. That right there is one of the first things that I do when I find myself in my victim energy. It's one of the first things I do. Because right away, I shift and pivot the program. Because when I'm acting or feeling like a victim, this is the mantra that I use to um, to get myself out of that and shift the program and change the, the lane, the trajectory, if you will, so that I can stand in my empowered creation template because that's the truth. And then from there, I sit down and look at what is this about? What is this bringing up for me? What am I releasing and letting go of? And then I bring source energy into the present moment, into the zero point moment. This is, this is my work. You know, everybody's got their own process and their own way and their own unique way, but this is the way that I do it. So it's been um, serving me and I've been sharing this with my clients over the years on how to, you know, transcend that energy. And again, come back from a place of empowerment. Because it's only the way that we perceive 
uh, what's happening to us as um, as as either a victim or what what are you going to do from this place forward, right? So um, I wanted to again let everybody know for those of you that want to participate in our twenty one day challenge is you know what what does it do for you? What does it do for you? It, this who is this for really? It's for anyone that, that's ready to take their emotional triggers and move them into liberation. It's for anyone that's ready to heal themselves. It's for anyone that has 10 minutes per day and that wants to practice and align with their daily meditation. It's for anyone that wants to bring love into the present moment. It's for anyone who wants to uh, believe and strengthen themselves and anchor themselves into the now and um, come from a place of I am love, I am whole, I am confident, I am powerful, I am infinite, I am wealthy, I am healthy from that place because the the every day you are also accessing new blueprints affirmations that you're going to be speaking i call it blueprinting a new reality you know we we can call it affirmations you can call it whatever you want but i have um i have it set up to where you're blueprinting your new reality with your voice and speaking um those words out out loud so that your physical body can hear you and that the quantum field can hear you so, yes. And so for all those people that want to, that have the, the finances and the resources, it's $21. And you can go to CorneliaStephanie.com and look on the tab at the top where it says 21 Day Challenge. And there you go. And you can access it there. And for those of you that would love to support, I am going to give it to you free of charge. All you have to do is email me at radio at CorneliaStephanie.com and and I will email it to you for free so that you can do the good work and really strengthen and, um, you know, work on your physical body. And like Karen said earlier, working on herself, working on yourself. I mean, this is what I have found, too, is it's been a perfect time for inner retreat, right? Um, to really find out, again, what's important to you? What are your core values? What seeds are you planting for the future? How do you want to live your life? How do you make decisions? Because a lot of times in the past, we've made decisions on automatic pilot. And we've made them um, because we should or because this is what we've always done. And now this has really given us a chance to look at, hey, how do I want to do this now? What's really important to me? How do I want to live my life and what legacy do I want to create? Very, very important time for us. And I know that um, many people are using this time to really get intimate with themselves and um, bring a greater level of love and respect and harmony to where they are. So I'm also getting ready to do another show right after this one. So stay with us if you're an entrepreneur and you want to find leads for your business now. Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich are going to be with us and they have a 72-hour plan. So I'm so excited for those of you that are entrepreneurs. I'm bringing you Ahana and Daniel from Rise and Be Rich. And these guys, you know, they are marketeers and they're always on the leading edge. So stay with us. We're getting ready to close out this show. Thank you so much for listening, for tuning in to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll see you again next time. And I'm getting ready to close out and be with Ahana and Daniel on the Millionaire Imprint. See you there. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Wake Up to Love, your call to action. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio. Cornelia's joy is to engage others in practical ways, showing us how to live in the new earth in harmony with our true nature. For more information on Cornelia and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to her website at corneliastephanie.com.